everybody, so today I'm going to do a tack video and this is the This or That Beauty Edition tack and I saw Nikki from Nikki Tutorials do this tack and it was actually really really cool so I thought I want to do that as well. Um, I'm going to link Nikki Tutorials down below in the info bar so you can go check her video out as well and um, yeah I'm going to read out the questions from my phone so if you see me looking down that's why. Um, so without further ado, I'll begin. The first questions are about makeup and the first question is blush or bronzer and I would definitely say bronzer because I'm a bronzer girl. I mean I love blush, no doubt about that, but bronzer just enhances the face's features and it's nice to contour and make your face look slimmer and I think with bronzer that's kind of like the thing that makes your face I don't know, stand out and look really really good, so I really love bronzer. The next question is lip gloss or lipstick, and I would definitely say lipstick because there's so many different kinds of lip uh, sticks you can get, like um, cream sheens which are very very creamy in consistency, and they kind of like work as almost a balm as well, and can also give a lot of shimmer. Whereas I find most lip glosses are very sticky and and they wear off so quickly that you know you have to reapply them all the time. And I don't find that um, with lipsticks, so I would definitely say lipsticks. Next question is eyeliner or mascara? No doubt about that, mascara. I'm a mascara girl. I love my mascara. I don't think I ever go anywhere without mascara because I just think that it enhances the eyes so so much. It makes them pop and. Yeah, I just really love mascara. Next question is foundation or concealer? And this is a difficult question actually, but I think I would go for concealer. Um, the reason being that I don't really need foundation that much. Um, on a normal everyday basis, I actually don't really use um, foundation. I actually just use concealer to cover up some small spots or whatever I've got on my face and that's actually just it. Next is neutral or colour eyeshadow and I'm probably going to go for the neutral ones because I really love my neutrals. Um, in most of my get ready with me videos I do kind of like natural eyeshadow colours because I really like it. Um, I do like coloured eyeshadow as well, don't get me wrong, but my everyday and my go-to looks are often like neutral colours so um, that's probably why. Next question is pressed or loose eyeshadows and I would definitely say pressed but that is because I haven't really worked that much with loose eyeshadows. Um, I've recently just bought some um, loose pigments from MAC that I'm going to try out and see if I can work with them but else I've actually never really worked that much with loose um, eyeshadows so um, yeah, that's why. And then the next question is brushes or sponges. And I actually both own brushes and sponges. Um, I've got the Beauty Blender, um, but I haven't actually used it yet. And I don't know why. I bought it um, last summer and I haven't used it even once. Um, I don't know why, I guess it's just, I don't really feel like it. Um, when I've seen people use um, a Beauty Blender or sponges or something like that, I always feel like that they get such a heavy, makeup look and I'm not really into that um, so I would definitely say I go for the brushes because there's so many different kinds of brushes and they're so easy to work with and yeah I love brushes. The next category is nails and the first question is OPI or China Glaze? Definitely China Glaze. They've got so many different kinds of colours and some of the colours have got shimmer and Mad and they're just so so cool and I like that they come with all of these different kinds of collections and yeah I just really like China Glaze. Also the staying power of the China Glaze um, nail polishes is they're really really good. Um, I haven't really tried that many of the OPI um, nail polishes but those that I have tried haven't really been that good so I would definitely go with China Glaze. Next is long or short nails. And I would definitely say long. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got that long um, nails. Um, they tend to like break when they get too long, my nails. 
so that's a bit bad or a bit shitty for me but I really really love long nails I think it looks so pretty so beautiful and you can kind of like design them as you want to if you want them to be really sharp or like more um, I don't know you can just shape them in whatever shape you want them and that's really cool next is acrylic on natural nails and I would probably go for if you've got really ugly natural nails I would say acrylic nails but if you've got really beautiful long healthy strong nails I would go for the natural ones so that's kind of like a, an in-between that I would say next is brights or dogs um, nail polishes at the moment I would probably say bright colors because it's starting to get warmer and spring is on its way and summer is on its way and you know then it's just really nice for some nice bright colors it just brightens up your entire look I know right now I'm wearing a kind of like dark reddish color but I would say thanks to the season at the moment it would definitely be bright and next is flower or no flower um, and I'm not quite sure what they mean by that if it's like you know like some kind of like design flower on the nails um, so I would probably say no flower because even though I do like flowers I don't know Sounds weird to me. The next category is body. And the first question is perfume or body splash. And I've never really used a body splash, so it's definitely perfume. The next question is lotion or body butter. And I think the body butter, it refers to the body shop body butters. And therefore, I would probably go for the lotion ones because the body butters from... Um, the body shop they take forever to dry on your skin and you just walk around an hour after you've applied it and feel like you're so greasy and you can't wear any clothes because you're just sticky and nasty and I hate that feeling so I'd probably go for lotions. And next question is body wash or soap and I would say body wash because it's like it's easier to work with and it's not as harsh on the skin as soap is. And next question is Lush or Bath Company. I've never tried any Lush products. I really, really want to because they're so good for you and they're made from organic things and only natural products. But yeah, I haven't tried it yet. So I guess I have to go with other bath companies, unfortunately. But I would really like to try Lush products. Next category is fashion and the first question is jeans or sweatpants and hmm, probably jeans when I'm just out and about but at home sweatpants. Um, next question long sleeve or short and it depends on the weather because I'm a freezer I freeze all the time but at the moment it is getting warmer and during summer it would definitely be like um, short sleeves but in the winter it's long sleeves so it's kind of like an in-betweener next is dresses or skirts and I would probably go for dresses because I never wear skirts I do like skirts but I never wear them next is stripes or plates and I would go for stripes because I like stripes next flip-flops or sandals um probably flip-flops next scarves or hats Scarves. I love scarves. I've got so many scarves in all kinds of different textures. I'm in love with scarves. Studs or dangly earrings and I would probably go for studs. Yeah. No. That's an in-betweener because I do like dangly earrings as well. It depends on the clothes that I'm wearing and so on. Um, necklaces or bracelets, um, probably bracelets because at the moment I'm not really wearing necklaces. I would like to wear some more statement necklaces but I don't know, it just feels too heavy on me and it doesn't really look that nice. Heels or flats, definitely heels because I am very very short so I need all of the height and all of the help that I can get. Um, cowboy boots or riding boots. Uh, neither. Jacket or hoodie? Um, jacket, I think, because it looks nicer and more like grown up ish. However, I do like a hoodie, but that's more for like relaxing days. Forever 21 or Charlotte Bruce? I don't own anything from um, Charlotte Bruce and I don't own anything from Forever 21, so I guess that's none. Uh, Abercrombie or Hollister? Abercrombie because. 
I own something from Abercrombie and I don't own anything from Hollister. Saks Fifth Avenue or Nordstrom? Um, Saks Fifth Avenue because I haven't really been to a Nordstrom before. Um, not that I remember at least. Um, so yeah, Saks Fifth Avenue. Also because they've got a bigger variety, I think, of um, stuff and clothes and beauty and so on. <laughs> Next category is hair, and first is curly or straight. At the moment, straight because my hair is not really that long yet, but when I get really long hair, hopefully soon, I would like to do some more curly looks and so on. So, at the moment, definitely straight hair. A uh, bun or ponytail? Ponytail because I can't do a bun at the moment. Um, bobby pens or butterfly clips? Bobby pens. I always bring bobby pens with me everywhere. They are my saviors. Hairspray or gel? Hairspray. Long or short? Um, both, because I've had short hair and I really loved it. I loved having short hair. It was so easy to work with and I could just wake up in the morning, just comb through my hair and then it would look perfect. Now I look like, yeah, you know, like an alien or something like that when I wake up. So, um, it would be an in-betweener because I like both and I've had both. Light or dark? Oh, I've had both as well. At the moment, I'm I'm having dark hair, but I'm trying to get blonder hair. So, in, once again, in between, oh my god, I suck at this. Um, side sweep bangs or full bangs? Why are hair questions so difficult? Um, at the moment, I would say full bangs. Um, don't know why. That's just how I feel. Um, up or down? Definitely down. I do like updos sometimes, but I definitely feel like that having my hair just down, it, it, you can create so many different looks with your hair down and I just really like the feeling of it. Next category is random and the first one is rain or shine and I would definitely say shine. I love sunshine, it makes me happy, it makes me energized and I just love it so, so much. Summer or winter? Um, I really love summer. I love the sunny weather and I love the warm weather. I yeah, I just really love summer. But I also love winter because then it's you know Christmas time and Christmas is my favorite time of year. So um, I have to say both. Next, fall or spring? Definitely spring. I hate fall because I hate seeing how everything just dies and all the leaves fall off the trees and I just I just really don't like it. It's so uh, rainy most of the time and just really really boring weather so I would definitely go for spring because everything just wakes up from um, winter and you can see things growing again and yeah it's just really nice. Chocolate or vanilla? Oh that's a tough one because I like chocolate um, but I also like vanilla. <sighs> a mix? East Coast or West Coast? Um, I think they refer to the US, um, so I would probably go for, I don't know, because on the East Coast you've got New York and I love New York, but on the West Coast you've got California and I love California. So once again, I'm in between, uh, I mean it depends on what kind of state of mind I'm in. If I want to go shopping or something like that, I would definitely go to New York. But if I really would like to, you know, like, have a nice relaxing time, I would definitely go to California. So, oh, it's an in-betweener. Uh. So guys, that was the this or that tag, and I really hope that you liked it. It was very much fun to do, and yeah. I think I was really, really bad at most of the questions because it was like a both or in-betweener answer, and that's, Kind of like that. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you thought this was funny to watch. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. And please do this tag as well if you want to. I'll leave the questions down below. And yeah, I tag all of you. And thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe to my channel.